Hey guys, today I will talk about US dollar versus the Swiss franc, um, only because uh, right now the currency pair uh, crashed, well, we have a strong downside movement and personally I will look for a potential rebound, For a, I, will, I will try to identify new potential longs after uh, this sell-off um, will be over. Risk disclaimer, please read it and if you have questions you can send an email to support. Thank you guys and um, US dollar versus the Swiss franc, massive massive drop, massive sell-off. And uh, yeah, maybe we can use uh, 0 0.8996 resistance. We have a major range here. You can see that 0 0.8859 uh, as, as support. It has only it has registered only false breakdown, a false breakdown here before uh, jumping higher again. So a sideways movement, extended maybe sideways movement. So 0 0.8859 as a downside obstacle as support um after um after failing maybe to make a new higher high after reaching this uh, order block after reaching this supply it has turned it to the downside right now a strong uh, sell-off strong uh, downside movement only because the dxy uh, crashed okay the dollar index uh, crashed let's take a look on the economic calendar the um, the us dollar um loses a strong uh, or a significant ground um and um uh, registered a strong uh, depreciation only because yesterday job openings uh, this economic indicator came in worse than expected as you can see uh, here factory orders uh, reported only a 0.9% growth versus 1.3% uh, uh, growth expected so uh, poor economic data uh, yesterday that's why uh, the US dollar uh, depreciated versus all its rivals in the short term and um, later today guys will have the ADP non-farm employment change ISM uh, services PMI final services PMI and uh, the most important event uh, um, uh, is represented by the, the FOMC the Federal Reserve is expected to increase the federal funds rate um, from 5.00% to 5.25% FOMC press conference uh, FOMC statement as a high impact event so the fundamentals will move the markets will shake the markets today that's why you'll have to be careful don't forget that also tomorrow uh, ECB um, also um, this uh, this um, this uh, this is seen as a high impact event ECB press conference US uh, unemployment uh, unemployment claims trade balance and also on Friday non-farm payrolls average hourly earnings unemployment uh, rate uh, as high impact event so um, the fundamentals will uh, will move the markets so technically guys US dollar Swiss franc sideways movement here and um, right now after taking out maybe the liquidity here um, and after maybe reaching this zone here um, it could try to rebound that's why I'll wait to see if this um, sell-off will be over here around this zone okay before turning to the upside that's why I'll wait for uh, for confirmation for a uh, for a bullish uh, bullish signal and uh, because uh, taking out uh, here the support and stabilizing below the medium line uh, making a very breakdown a valid breakdown from this range could signal that this uh, was only a distribution pattern before extending its sell off but after this massive uh, sell off uh, it could find the demand and support here and it could try to to rebound in the in the short term so that's why personally I will keep an eye here on up also on lower time frames and um, if the price action will um, uh, will signal that uh, the sell-off uh, is over above 0 0.8859 if it registers only false breakdowns false breakdowns great separation if it prints a, a reversal pattern a bullish pattern here then i will uh, try to identify a potential new long opportunity because as i said after um, this massive sell-off it could try to rebound in the short term okay so this is my opinion here about uh, US dollar uh, Swiss uh, Swiss franc. I really want to see something like a, like a pin bar, false breakdown, false breakdown with great separation, a bullish pattern before uh, looking for longs again. Um, and I will come back with my uh, with my new trade in US dollar versus the Swiss franc into the into the VIP group. Yeah, a new high probability trade like my. Um, UK 100 and uh, yeah uh, person I'm still holding uh, this position here in UK 100 FTSE 100 um, around uh, 588 uh, 
points in profit right now temporary rebound after this massive sell-off that's why personally i'm still holding my stop losses at break even i'm, I'm holding and uh yeah i'm letting it ride really really good uh, trade and uh and the setup you can see my trade in my real account uh, here as well okay here um uk 100 also stop loss at the break even the position is in profit and i'm letting it ride okay um this is my opinion about the us dollar versus the swiss franc i will try to identify a potential uh, new high probability trade after reaching this zone here so uh, don't forget to read the disclaimer don't forget to visit our uh, website youtube uh, channel please subscribe you can share this um, this video you can comment right below it you can like it also uh, learn to trade forex signals if you want to become a vip member and instagram follow us bye bye